Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a different sort of video. I always say that, I swear I always say that in all my videos. But today I'm going to be doing a TMI girl talk. If you don't know what that is, it means too much information. So I'm going to be including puberty periods and bras. So a lot of girly stuff included these things I just said. So if you don't want to watch this video, if you're a boy or if you're a girl or non-binary or if you just don't like this sort of stuff, then you can click off this video and watch one of my other videos. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, leave the suggestions below. And yeah, some of you guys have asked me a few stuff that I should cover in this video, so I thought why not do it in that. So it's kind of like what India Grace did it, because she did a video on it. So I kind of copied her, so credits to India Grace, so yeah, just keep on watching. I'll be looking over here for like all the information and all the stuff that you guys give me. So first of all, the love of animals have said favourite bra brand. So my favourite bra, bra brand has to be Primark. It's amazing, like go to Primark, buy their bras, amazing. Such good prices, amazing, um like fabric like what they use is like really good you can get all sorts you can get push-up ones sport bars and just like normal bars sparlets all different colors i feel like they should add more colors though and like they should have more packs they have packs also like with comes with like three bars they're amazing good prices i love victoria's secret bars but i've only ever had one which was a bralette but they're really expensive, so that's why I've already had one. Um, so yeah. Next is from Living with Kate. She asked, experience in getting your period. And then she just says, I don't know why I asked, but yeah. That's okay, you can ask those sort of questions. And um, my experience wasn't actually that bad. Mine I had mine at home. And I knew what it was. I was just on the toilet, you know, the usual thing see it and it's like i think i've got my period and then i just start wearing a pad and just realize i've got it see i got mine at home i don't think it i think it was like on like the weekend um and i got mine i think i was 15 no 14 15 i think it was 15 i think i was like it was at it was like at the start of the year um it was like, yeah, it was in, when I was 15, I was like, that was in October, I think, like, because my birthday's in September, I think I was in October, so at the end of the year then, so yeah, I was 15, I'm sure, um, I can't really remember, but I can't really remember a lot of, like, stories from, the, from, like, years ago, so, yeah, but I did get mine 15, um, which is quite a good age. I would say it's like mid age people would get it. Um, yeah, next is from Megan Loves Pony. She says periods or puberty. So, yeah, I'm going to be talking a lot of information about that. I have um stuff here over here, so I'll be looking a lot over here, seeing stuff that I've put down and stuff on the internet. Um, so I'm going to start off with periods first because that's what she suggested. So if you don't know what a period is, if you're like, on, I think you start from, I think you get your period even from age 11 to like 19 or something. Something like that. If you get it too late, then you might want to go to the doctors to check or if you haven't got yours yet. Make sure you go to the doctors because you never know why you haven't got your period yet. But don't you worry, if you're like, even like 15 and you're still worrying like, oh my god, I haven't got my period. Please don't worry, you will eventually get it. But if you don't, make sure you go to the doctors. So, a period is part of the menstrual cycle, I think I said that right, I'm not sure. Which is where women bleed from their vagina for a few days and then um and it happens every 28 days or so in one month so every month 
and yeah you just bleed so you have to wear a pad or you can have those little menstrual cups or what's that other thing or a, a tampon I think that's yeah a tampon so I use pads I swear everybody uses pads nowadays the best option and really easy to use so your period can last between three to eight days mine usually lasts about five days yeah usually at five days sometimes it does last like three days i have like this weird time so it's like three days sometimes it does last longer like six days um so your your period can be really heavy or really light um and and when your when your um, period is really heavy it'll be like really red and on the lighter days it may be like pink like a bit of brown or black sometimes i do get like a bit brown you know like you just get like a bit of brown just like a little bit um really sorry if this is t t tmi just like click off this video but yeah um the period start usually at the age of 12 it says here but i would say from the age of 11 i think you can actually get yours from the age of 11 um so most girls will have it between age of 16 to 18 so we do get it later than 18 i'm not sure about i think i don't know if 90s okay but if you do get get it later on then make sure you just go to the doctor's double check and there's lots of sanitary products as i just said earlier so the pads the tampons and the menstrual cups so pads is the best option um so yeah people do use tampons if there are if they do have a heavy flow so if you have a heavy flow you can use tampons if you wish um and when you get tamp not tampon but you get your period you get all sorts of other things as well so you can feel really bloated really tired um your breasts can be quite tender and like quite itchy um you get a lot of mood things um and you do get greasy hair quick which i have a trouble with um and spots too which i get too um you can even feel like sick as well get a lot of headaches which i do sometimes i feel sick but i've never been i've never had a really bad period i'm like really lucky ones um so also make sure you check if you're pregnant so you're you're allowed to have sex from the age of 16 so if you think you're pregnant go to the doctors or you can just do it at home and check at home and um, to make sure you if you feel like you've got your period not your period if you feel like you're pregnant then make sure you go and do that and um, if your like period is late then do that there's a lot of information about that if you feel like you're pregnant i have felt like i was pregnant before but i know i wasn't <laughs> like yeah because sometimes i just like i used to sometimes think i was like because i used to get like one time i got my period extremely late like it didn't come like in that month and i thought i was pregnant so yeah make sure you also make sure you have a app i have an app which you can use to keep track of your um period and it, including like um how much water you're drinking and like if you're pregnant or not so now i'm going to go on with like puberty which is basically the same from periods so puberty starts on the ages 8 to 14 I think mine started from 11 or 12, maybe 12, because I started to get some spots when I was in year 6, which was in primary school. And there's a lot of things um, which will happen when you're, um, to your body when you get hit puberty. So one of the things is growing, you will have a growth spurt. I had a growth spurt, mine wasn't that big i've stopped i've stopped growing now so my height is very small i'm four foot four which is 
really small. Um, but sh yeah, sometimes that happens. I had my ghost but like fourteen or fifteen. And then your breasts and hips get bigger. My hips, like whenever I pull up like skirts, it's always really hard to pull them up until I eventually get it up to the top or like shorts. Um, so yeah, your breasts and hips will get bigger. And then your hair grows on your body, so you'll get hair under your armpit, legs and also down there. Um, and then periods which is part of your puberty um, and spots and you can sweat a lot as well um, which is really annoying so make sure you have a deodorant with you so your feelings go up and down you have a lot of mood swings I, I do suffer from mood swings sometimes I'm like really happy sometimes I sometimes get mad at really random things so it's just really weird sometimes just like in that like uh, not bothered move mood but yeah um i think that's all of the information um to tell you guys so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe leave any videos just in play if you want a tmi girl talk part two let me know or if you want any other girl talk videos or q a's or assumptions or anything leave them all below or guinea pig videos i'm gonna i think i'm gonna insert a guinea pig clip at the end because i haven't actually included my guinea pigs in ages or at the beginning don't know i think i might include that at the end so yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out bye guys